Luca. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about shotguns and where I think they fit on the modern battlefield when it comes to combating modern man-made horrors, aka drones. And when I'm talking about drones, I'm not talking about Predator drones or Global Hawks or any of the larger you know, UAVs that can fly thousands of feet in the air. I'm talking about more man-portable commercially available drones like this DJI Mini 2 that you see here. I'm sure many of you have seen some of the footage coming out of this current conflict in Ukraine where these little guys are being used to devastating effect on the battlefield for not only reconnaissance but more offensive actions like rigging these things up to drop hand grenades and mortar shells on people. It is absolutely terrifying. But I think the most terrifying thing that these things are capable of is targeting and spotting for artillery where one of these things will fly above you give your grid coordinates to a nearby artillery piece and then they proceed to blow you in the rest of your grid square that you're standing on off the face of the earth and in order to combat these little fuckers um, we've seen a variety of different methods being used whether it be electronically with these giant halo looking um, anti-drone guns which send out electronic signals uh, to help down these things and a big plus to those is that they can bring these things down in one piece you know where you can collect any intel that might be on it and the second way of taking down drones you know of course is shooting them down and I began to think like what gun out there is better <laughs> at shooting down flying, moving little creatures than, you know, shotguns. Of course, you know, anti-aircraft guns are probably better, but you know, what is something easily uh, carried around and, you know, readily available to everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about shotguns, where I think that they fit on the modern battlefield in a light infantry platoon on a patrol, and you know, some of the uh, pluses and minuses of using a, a good old boomstick to take down these little bastards right here. <laughs> but before we get into it, a word from our sponsors. Nice. So I know in this video, we're talking about how to defend yourself against a drone attack, but what about a cyber attack? I'm sure you guys are aware that I'm a fan of acquiring exotic goods, which often leads me to some dark places on the internet. That's why I'm excited to partner with today's sponsor, Aura. Aura is an easy to use app that includes everything you need to stay safe online. Aura protects you from scammers and hackers by scanning the so-called dark web, where criminals sell stolen information looking for your emails, passwords, social security numbers, and it alerts you fast if it finds anything. They help you fight back against those annoying websites that make your personal information public by automatically requesting removal of your info, which helps reduce robocalls. Aura gives you near real-time alerts on suspicious credit inquiries, like if someone's opening a loan or a credit card in your name. Their VPN allows you to stay anonymous online by keeping your browsing history and personal information safe and encrypted. And they protect your devices from viruses, malware, spyware, and more so the bad guys can't break in. Or it even helps you to manage what your kids can do on their devices. You can restrict specific apps, set screen time limits, and even set a focus timer to ensure that your child is actually doing their homework instead of binge watching YouTube videos, like you are right now. And their password manager lets you store and access your online password securely and conveniently. Maybe you already have an app that does one of those things, but with Aura, you don't have to download and pay for seven different apps. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online, and if you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two-week free trial with my link. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed in just those two weeks. So go to aura.com forward slash blue jean to start your free trial today i got a link below or you can scan the qr code you see here keep your personal information safe and big thank you to aura for sponsoring today's video also like to give a shout out to misty mountain supply for supplying this badass jacket right here this thing is awesome it is uh perfect for this weather right now it's uh you know it's in the 30s right now it's a little chilly and uh, it's keeping me nice and warm so if you need any uh super sick surplus gear go check out misty mountain supply also make sure to check out slate black industries use code bjo10 for 10 percent off some sick m lock grips and accessories so whenever shotguns are brought up uh, you always get that guy in the comments you know who typically owns an 8 inch 300 blackout and will completely dismiss these guns as archaic and useless and stupid and you know yes like there are situations where shotguns are outclassed by 
modern magazine fed intermediate caliber rifles but you know life exists outside of a bubble you know off of the flat range where you're just burning down targets because shotguns are incredibly useful because they are incredibly versatile this is because of the wide variety of ammunition they can use you know whether it be buckshot uh, slugs breaching rounds birdshot less than lethal stuff shotguns are essentially like if you had to equate any gun to being a tool uh, shotguns are like a multi-tool you know it's like a, it's like a hammer uh, of course there are more effective ways of killing someone than a hammer but you know what hammer can also build a house <laughs> one thing that shotguns are particularly good at is shooting things out of the sky that's why these things are the primary choice of duck hunters and goose hunters and stuff like that and that's why i think that they are a great choice for combating these little things um, you know having a shotgun with you or on you when you have a sky full of these little guys either spying on you dropping artillery on you or dropping hand grenades on you um, i think it's you know possible that shotguns have a place yet again on the modern battlefield for something other than you know a primary combat role so when i look at this problem i look at it you know from a light infantry perspective because that's kind of my background and to me having a shotgun with you you know a, one guy designated to carry the shotgun maybe not even as like a primary weapon they can also have a rifle but have this thing strapped to the ruck or something like that and if you're encountering you know drone problems in your patrol um, having one of these things to shoot it down before it can either compromise you get you artillery i think having someone with a shotgun on your patrol uh, might be a smart move. So this particular shotgun is a Mossberg 500. I picked this up uh, a couple months ago from a local gun shop. It's nothing fancy and it's just what I had on hand. This isn't necessarily the best representation of what, what I think would be the best like anti-drone shotgun out there. Honestly, I think that if you had a guy's primary role was to shoot down a drone that's flying pretty high up, uh, honestly, I think that like the good old boys like super long barrel duck gun with you know heavy duck loads in it would be the absolute best thing to take out a drone. But you know, then again, those things are super long, kind of hard to carry. So you know, maybe a shotgun that you can easily break down, um, like a takedown version strapped to your ruck would be the absolute best version. An 18 inch version like this uh, wouldn't be bad. It's not that bad to carry around. You can easily strap this to your ruck. And I think it's like the perfect compromise. Like if you were going to use a shotgun as like for multiple different roles, maybe have one of these uh, shotgun cards full of birdshot, have another full buckshot, some breaching rounds, just have that guy be like the multi-tool um, in your platoon. Might be a good idea, but honestly, I think that if you're going to uh, pick a shotgun for, you know, a primary weapon and you know, get something like a Benelli M4 or a, another more modern uh, combat shotgun than just like an old pump shotgun. You know, these definitely work and they're easy to find. So kind of going at this with a you know the perspective also as a civilian, you know, God forbid if there was a situation where we had these flying around and that there were a problem for us here in the States, shotguns are pretty much available to anyone in pretty much in every state. They're incredibly easy to find. The ammunition is readily available. Of course, you know, more modern, like these anti-drone weapons would be awesome, but those things again are probably really expensive. And from what I've seen, they're often huge. So I don't think they'd be very viable to take out on a long distance patrol. And I think something, you know, more archaic like a shotgun might be the better answer. So what are some of the pros and cons of a shotgun. So the pros, you know, they're easy to get, ammunition's readily available, they're very portable. Um, I don't think you should go any shorter than this if you're looking to possibly use this for anti-drone purposes, um, just because these things can fly decently high, high. Um, but you know, if you're trying to reliably take one out of the sky, longer barrel maybe put a tighter choke in this might be a better bet you know they're just easy to use you can hand this off to anyone uh, it doesn't take much training to tell someone how to shoot something out of the sky you know pretty much anyone can do it so going into the cons um, the primary con that i can see 
on using one of these things to shoot a drone out of the sky is of course the noise. Shotguns are incredibly noisy and if someone's using one of these to you know fly around chances are they're going to be within earshot of a shotgun blast. So you're going to kind of compromise your patrol um, in that situation but I think that might be better than being compromised with one of these things having like hand grenades dropped on you from these or god forbid artillery and the second con that i could see is when you go to actually shoot one of these things out of the sky obviously you are going to destroy it um, <laughs> chances are you're not going to be able to recover any of the intel that is on this thing maybe if the sd card survives on it you can but that is a risk you're going to be taking if that's not a problem for you of course you know blast away but if you're going from a counter intel perspective um, you know shotguns might not be the best bet and sticking to one of the more electronic methods but of course again can't really carry those around on you unless it's in a vehicle so all in all guys i think that shotguns still do have a place here on the modern battlefield <laughs> you can't really kill these things these are one of the oldest weapons or style of weapons that is still in our arsenal today and i think it still has a place uh, due to this modern threat of the Skynet that we have at home. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram at BlueGeneOperator or go to my website, thebluegeneoperator.com to find school shirts and merch, which helps to support the channel. I've also revamped my Patreon where there's a few different tiers on there, which will get you access into my VIP room on my Discord. So super cool stuff. But hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.